Hi everyone and welcome to this Halloween edition of PsyQ. We've had so many requests to do a special feature on genetically modified organisms or GMOs. We thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do a video on frankenfoods. Now frankenfoods are just a derogatory term for genetically modified organisms. Humans have been modifying organisms for literally thousands of years and doing it with genetics is just a modern way of creating crops that are more resilient to pests, weeds and disease. Who's that? Oh, hey, Laura. Hey, Jade. I heard you talking about GMOs, and as a recent graduate from the UC Berkeley biology program, I have a couple points to make. Well, sit down. First of all, there's no genetic diversity in genetically modified crops, so if a new disease comes along, the whole crop could be wiped out. Also, because of the herbicide resistance in genetically modified crops, you would think use of herbicides and pesticides would have decreased, but actually it has increased a lot. This increased use of herbicides and pesticides has a very negative impact on the environment. Well, if you want to talk about environmental impact, GMO crops can be bred so they have bigger yields, which means we need less land to make the same amount of crop. So that means it's less trees in the jungle that we need to knock down so that we can feed the planet. Also, we've now modified crops so that they can grow in harsh environments, places where we've never been able to grow crops before. For example, areas where it's too dry or too salty for anything else to grow, we can now use that land for agriculture, which is amazing. Well, bringing genetically modified crops to new environments is not so amazing if there is crossbreeding between the genetically modified crops and the wild populations. We also have to consider the health effects of genetically modified foods. There have been many tests on animals showing really negative health impacts, and we don't really know the long-term health consequences for humans. Well, if you want to talk about health effects, genetically modified crops can be bred to have more nutritional value. They can naturally have more vitamins in them, which can be a huge benefit in areas where nutritional food is scarce. We're now even experimenting with growing crops that have vaccines in them. So in areas where we can't get vaccines, to everyone, we can just grow that type of crop and everyone will be vaccinated. Well, I guess it's a pretty complicated issue. Well, I guess there's two sides to every story. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.